Hey guys, it's Steve, your Kia Motors blogger for the 2011 Vans Warped Tour. And today we are going to be talking about my favorite personal subject, technology. The other day we had a chance to play right in front of Google's headquarters, which got us all thinking, what has technology been like over the past 17 years of Warped Tour? We checked in with your favorite artists and production staff to see what they had to say about how technology has affected Warped Tour, their daily lives, and the music industry in general. Let's check it out. Technology has taken the music industry and just totally shifted it. Everything's changed, you know. I'm sure everybody who's watching this interview knows that firsthand. You know, you can discover music, you know, Google. <laughs> you just type in a band's name and you could probably type in download link and you can have their record in, in minutes. I and started it, touring in 1996 and I had no cell phone. I had no GPS. Uh, I would book the tours either by phone or I would actually mail tapes or CD. Well, back then, it was probably still mailing cassette tapes um, to, to across the country to get gigs, and then waiting for people to call my home phone. It was totally different than now, which is like I'm I'm on uh, Google Maps, finding the venue, then finding the the guitar center closest to the venue and the Walmart so we can park in the lot for for a few hours and get some sleep. Kristen here with Fearless Records. A cool thing about our tent this year is that we're taking credit cards through Square. So we put this little tiny box in my um, iPhone 4. I put whatever amount that I need in the description. I'll put like go go radio t-shirt every day, my yellow pages, my white pages, so I can get my dial-up codes for uh, for each city, and I, I got to be known as the Rain Man of Area Codes, because I, I knew all the dial-up numbers, but now we, everybody's got their own wireless cards, we're all Wi-Fi, we're across the street from Google today, everybody's uh, pirating some free internet today. But. I think technology has affected it all for the better, honestly. It allows a lot of kids who maybe didn't know us before to really find us out kids who uh, maybe hear our name before we come through their town, look us up on the internet, Facebook, MySpace, listen to our music, follow us on Twitter, allows us to really interact with these kids. They feel a lot more connected with us, which is awesome. I don't think it's really helpful to know what, you know, Radiohead or what kind of Thai food they're having in terms of, like, your enjoyment of their music, you know, like, it's actually, it's kind of at this point where it's kind of more, like, it can be helpful to promote a show or a contest or something like that, but the kind of oversaturation, I think, sometimes can be detrimental. I think it's band, real honestly. important to have that like kind of mystery behind like the you know the person you don't want to let people too much in on like your personal life. It talks about technology on the Warp Tour. Which we are we have none of on stage because we're a punk rock band so. Yeah we don't do the in-ear thing. Yeah we're laptop free we're we plug in our guitars we just about use tuning pedals. But yeah we rip out leads more often than we should. Yeah but our guitarist uses a wireless guitar lead. That's so yeah that's, that's kind of technology, the right there, technology yeah. we roll with. I mean, it's so it's, it's totally good and bad. I mean, I think it's great to see. There's, it's great to see people come up to your merch table and like you on Facebook and things like that because that's direct with the iPhone. You can, you can directly do that. The most frustrating thing is when you're playing and you see people on Facebook while you're playing. And we tweet every day for kids to, uh, we say the first three kids to find the Shut Up and Deal tent when they come in to Warped Tour today and say a secret word, whatever it might be. They get to win a free CD or a free t-shirt. And uh, it's really awesome because every morning we have kids just running towards our tent, just hoping that they're one of the first three, just screaming out this ridiculous word that we make, which is usually something that's not real, like Duke Fran or Shimmy Sham or something crazy. And kids just love it. We have a good time and, and it gets them real excited, you know? All right, guys, and there you have it. Check out Facebook.com slash Kia Soul for all the latest Warped content. See you guys on the road.